Infinite Warfare. Ah, oh, the internet's favorite hate object. <laughs> this news comes from GameStop's just-posted quarterly earnings report following a call yesterday with investors. In that call, they revealed that overall revenue was down 3% from the same quarter last year, but more importantly, new software sales were down nearly 10%, which is kind of surprising considering that's when most of the year's games are released. That jives pretty well with reports from around the industry that, for some reason, people just aren't buying some of 2016's fall blockbusters. Management said during the call that this year's Call of Duty entry did a fair bit worse than they had projected, which has contributed to those slumping software sales. Press X to get burned. Ah, eek. Typically, they make those projections based on how comparable titles have done in the years prior. So that means Infinite Warfare is selling significantly worse than Black Ops 3 did in 2015 which is something we've also heard out of the UK. Titles include more notable high-profile games like Battlefield 1, Dishonored 2, Skyrim Special Edition, Titanfall 2, and Watch Dogs 2, but also has some head-scratchers like World of Final Fantasy, Farming Simulator 17, hey. Dragon Quest Builders, and WWE... And now we should be clear here, an underperforming Infinite Warfare is still probably doing decent numbers for GameStop because Call of Duty sales are typically bananas, and GameStop probably isn't being entirely genuine here because their sales have been down consistently before this quarter anyway. They can blame Call of Duty, and yes, it is selling worse than the last uh, entry in the series did. However, it's not like it's the only thing that's disappointing for them. But come on, everybody needs a good scapegoat, am I right? Right. Their recently published Q2 earnings report covering the quarter that ended in July showed that their sales were down for that period as well. Overall, global revenue was down 7% compared to the same quarter in 2015, with even used game sales falling short of their potential. It's probably true that Infinite Warfare and other titles are that are 360 no-scope and GameStop sales numbers. It's also a sign that, frankly, more people are moving to digital purchases every year and GameStop is failing to adjust their model. Analyst Superdata predicts that out of $40 billion in sales generated throughout the 2016 holiday season, more than 55% of those are going to digital, a number that's steadily growing.